What's going on guys and welcome to Facebook Ads Friday week 38, dog edition I should say. This week I'm going to be showing you two tried and tested products in the dog niche that are selling right now and this is all based on evidence as well. This is not my personal opinion, I'm going to be showing you the sorts of things I look for in a product when I'm doing my product research so that you can be sure when you pick a product you know for a fact it's in high demand and it's selling right now. So if you're watching this video and you haven't found that one product that's going to be that first winner for you, every single Friday I will show you two great examples for you to go out there and test for yourself. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date. We've done 38 weeks up until this point, and I do plan on carrying this on as long as you guys enjoy the video, enjoy the series. With that being said, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this one, and let's take a look at product number one. So product number one is from a company called Reggie. This post is from Wednesday of May 31st. We are in July of 20th today, so what's that? A couple of months. Um, straight away, they go into kind of like a statement. There's a couple of different ways you should start your ad creators off to get people to stop. That first initial line is super, super important. A lot of people will use a quotation, a testimonial, that sort of thing. Um, some people use kind of like shocking statements. Some people use questions, that sort of thing to get people to stop. These guys use a shocking statement. So studies show that stress and anxiety can impact your dog's long-term health. If you're looking for a niche that is growing in popularity, growing in interest and here for the long run, then anxiety within the dog niche is one of those things. So if we take a look at Google Trends information, this is worldwide, so no matter where you're watching this, it applies to you. We can see that since sort of 2009, um, anxiety in dogs has become more and more popular. So those sorts of products that help combat that and put a dog's mind at ease and help settle them down, those types of products are gonna increase in demand and popularity, and that's exactly what this product is. Before we take a quick look at it, this is the evidence now that I'm gonna show you that I base all of these products on. Um, first things first being the engagement, so 10,000 reactions, 2.5 thousand comments, and over 2,000 shares. I think it's pretty safe to say a post doesn't get that level of engagement unless it's doing something right, unless it's profitable. Nobody continues to run an ad unless it's making the money. The next thing I look for is the comments section. So we're looking for positive comments from people that show intent that they want to buy the product, or better yet, somebody like this, somebody like Teresa from two weeks ago who posted a picture of her pet with the product which would indicate which would show that she has actually bought this so Vicky while I've never purchased this product so she hasn't actually bought it a former professional dog trainer as a former professional dog trainer um, these snuffle mats are awesome so that's a brilliant brilliant comment um, as we can see it's got lots and lots of reactions so I have no doubt that this very comment from Vicky itself has probably been responsible for a few sales for this business because as she's kind of positioned herself as the professional and she's endorsing this product even though she's never even and bought it. Another person who's posted a picture of their dog. This is one of the great things about the dog niche. People love their dogs like they love their kids. They want to show them off. So people will interact with posts related to dogs just for the sake of it because they love dogs and of course all these sorts of things helps with your organic reach. So Reagan from one week ago says I love this. Um, Deanne says my dog just loves her snuffle mat. We can see there's people who have bought this product in the very short time that it's been live just for a couple of months. We've got lots and lots of people asking questions so can I spray a calming spray on it? Again that's to kind of help combat that um, anxiety in dogs. Really cool idea. How about dogs who are Part. everything what I really like about this particular company as well is if we look at the replies on all of these questions we can see that it's from the company itself and they have a really humanistic response if that makes sense or a really human response it's not from a robot they're showing enthusiasm and they're showing details not one or two word answers it comes across like they really do care about the questions these people are asking the third thing I'm looking for in a product if I'm going to go ahead and test it is I want to make sure that it's working right now. So I'm looking at the comment section, I'm going to the newest and we can see from four days, four days, four days, five days, six days, three days, four days, four days, five days, five days. These are all within the last week. So that would indicate to me this is still running and therefore it still must be working and therefore it's working right now. That being said, let's take a look at exactly what the product is. A key thing to take away is notice how it's not just the same dog 
in lots of different clips. I believe that's a different dog. That's another different dog. That's another different dog. That's another different dog. And then somebody just illustrating exactly how the product works. The reason why that's really important to show lots of different dogs in lots of different settings using the product is because it gives off that established impression. If there's more than one person that's used this thing, it would indicate that it's a big brand that lots and lots of dogs are currently using. They have lots and lots of past customers and that instills trust in the people that see the ad. So if we click the shop now button, this is the page it takes us to. They have lots and lots of different products, lots and lots of different bundle offers. As we can see, these are a pretty established established brands they sell their own kind of treats and peanut butter that you can use in conjunction with the product however if you want to buy just the product itself that we saw in that video you're talking $44 what's interesting about this particular company too is there's no actual product page I don't know if you can hear me clicking these but there's no product page or description for this product so they're simply relying on all of the information that's in the ad to do the job um, enough, let's click shop now, just takes us straight down, enough for somebody to hit that add to cart button. So, so that can indicate how what you have on your product pages per se potentially isn't as important as you may think so, as long as you've got an effective video ad, of course. So $44, by no means a cheap product. Given my experience in this niche, um, buying products, um, not only from AliExpress, but also from Alibaba in bulk quantities, I'd be surprised if it's more than $10 to buy a stock quantity of these. But let's jump on to AliExpress. Now, to be completely honest and upfront, I wasn't able to find this exact one, but when you put dog snuffle mat in, there are lots and lots of very, very, very similar products. In my opinion, there's actually some better products here that are a bit more colorful and a bit more playful, like this turtle one, which I think would get a bit more interest on social media, um, rather than just this kind of plain dull brown one. Um, if you haven't noticed already or didn't spot it, these trays up here in the top right hand corner for $6.78, this is the exact product that they're also selling on their website too. So I have no doubt this is a product that's readily available once you find this supplier but if it was me I would be testing these more colorful and more playful ones because I think they're the sorts of thing that's going to get more attention plus it still does the exact same job so as we scroll down then to get a rough kind of guesstimate and price I mean this is pretty much the same thing but in blue that's $18 that's actually quite expensive here's one for $17 this looks like a really good one actually um, let's keep on going to so $13 $10 12 10 let's go back to the top there was some more here so 8 8 10 10 16 14 13 so let's go kind of middle of the road or kind of towards the top end. Let's go for $15. They're still making about $30 profit on the front end on a one-off piece, which is pretty decent and 100% achievable within the dog niche if you have the right product. With that being said, that was product number one. Before we move on to product number two, just 30 seconds of your time, I just want to let you know about a free training that I've just got done recording and that's available to everybody. It's 100% free, won't cost you a single penny. It's quite an extensive training. You do need a good hour to watch it. Definitely bring a notepad and pen because I will literally show you every single step that you need to take to launch your business starting from a complete beginner from day one with no store, no products, no nothing, no experience and show you how to launch a business and start getting your first customers within 21 days. I know that's a bold claim, but there's hundreds of people who have gone through this training and done that exact thing. So make sure you check it out. Like I said, it is 100% free. Only thing I ask for is your email address, and that is so I can send you this. This is also 100% free, won't cost you a single penny. Everybody who watches the training gets this. It's a free download. It's a PDF of my personal handpick selection of 194 product ideas for 2023. So if you want to grab yourself a copy of that once you've finished watching this video make sure you head down to the video description and it'll be the top link the very top link in the video description down below thanks okay so moving on to products number two sticking with the dog niche and sticking within that kind of anxiety type niche as we can see in the ad creative at the ad copy relieves their anxiety and stress as well this is becoming a more and more prominent thing with dogs um, so anyway back to the post itself so Fido faves of June 11th this first went live of this year so this has been going for about five to six weeks 
in that time they've been able to get nearly 2,000 reactions and uh, nearly 1,000 comments and 365 shares so not massive 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 but it's only been going for a few weeks even still in that time they've been able to get quite a few positive comments that show intent and even some that show people have bought this product so Cheryl my Lucy loves hers best by ever from one week ago Deborah, I have a two and a half pound chihuahua. She's always cold, so I constantly have to cover her up with this new dog bed. She gets under the cover all by herself. So that's less than a day ago, within 23 hours. Um, another person who's bought this product. Fiona, just got mine and my tuppies and puppies, that I probably should say. I love it, one week ago, another person that's bought this product. Best dog bed I've ever bought. Another person, my dog absolutely loves this. Brilliant beds, they're great for dashings. My dogs and cats are in love with this bed. Brilliant beds, I had one, our dogs loved it. Um, I have bought one of these for my dog. This looks so comfy, I would love it. Just got mine. As we can see, lots and lots of people, you get the gist, you get the idea, um, have bought this product and are happy with this product. Let's take a look at the most recent comments though. So the newest, uh, 27 minutes, one hour, one hour, one hour, 11 hours, 22 hours, 18, 19, 21 hours, 23 hours, 23 hours. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 comments all within the last 24 hours. So if I had to guess, these guys are pummeling a pretty significant amount of money into this ad and therefore I would guess them seeing a return for doing that. That being said then let's take a look at exactly what the product is. So 28 seconds they've got a little voiceover. Basically at the bottom there are subtitles for the person who's doing the voiceover. Completely different approach to the first ad. So the first ad was showing lots of different clips to establish social proof. This ad is telling a story about this particular pup who suffers with anxiety and stress and that sort of thing. So they decided to try, try this um, particular product. So she's quite an anxious pup, especially when we leave for work. So the paint in the picture, the paint in the scene, um, touching on those pain points which a lot of people will have especially when they've gone back to work since covid after adopting a puppy during covid because they were working from home so a really effective ad um, that touches on the relevant issues and points um, that a potential dog owner may be having let's jump onto the website then and take a look at what they're selling this product for so they're selling it for 45.99 we can see not a typical setup a lot of design has gone into this a lot of third-party apps um, that sort of thing it comes in lots of different sizes so medium large and xl so the price does go up as far as 76 pounds depending on what size you go for they have a nice size chart in the imagery which is something i see so many people forget to do you need to make it crystal clear as possible for your consumers to know exactly what size they need rather than put by measurement as well make sure you do this and actually put the breed itself so they can simply find the breed they have or a breed that's similar to the one that they have and then they know instantly what size it is they need to buy let's move down the product page then and see what their current setup is so a banner with some different um, guarantees that sort of thing um, a gif showing um, a dog having a good time this looks a bit like a gem pages type setup nothing too crazy um, pretty replicatable pretty simple to put together nice big 30-day money-back guarantee with an FAQ some amazing customer reviews so a very typical setup nothing that nobody with a bit of time invested um, could create something similar so if we go middle of the road in fact let's go for the cheapest and we can see they're selling it for $60 let's jump on to Aliexpress and see what we can get so I believe I'm just going to open that up that looks like an identical product for £5.45 which can't be right um, let's change this to US dollars back onto the website so $60 that is for a 20 inch bed um, let's see if we can find something that's a bit closer like for like so that looks like a different style but has the same thing with the pouch over the top so it creates kind of like a cave let's open this one up and one of these has got to be the same thing so we have here here's another market by the way too so if you don't like the dog niche you might be able to sell this in the cat niche given the fact that a lot of this content is based around cats it's this very same product 20 inches is about 50 centimeters so $10.86 with free shipping they're selling it for $60 so there's somewhere between 45 and $50 of room um, to be made on this product and let me tell you now you can 100% acquire customers for less than that so in its own right a very profitable product as well that price seems pretty universal as well um, across the board so we can see 20 inches again it's about 50 centimeters they're selling it for 11 dollars 
and these guys are selling it for $17, so slightly more expensive. And so with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap the video up there. That is Facebook Ads Friday, week 38, coming to an end. Um, if you've stuck with me, I really do appreciate the support on the channel. Make sure you subscribe so you can tune in every single week. Make sure you check out that free training that I've put together. I definitely think it will help you if you haven't found that one winning product yet for yourself. Any comments, questions, video suggestions, anything at all, make sure you post them down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.